Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel, The Truth Rediscovered. My name is Steve. We're going to continue with our series, The Good Soil. Today's topic is, the good can look different. My name is Grace. In 2020, in April, I was scheduled to graduate. However, because of the pandemic, um, everything shut down. I think it started around March, if I remember correctly. I was in the middle of doing an experiment for my thesis project. I was in the lab, in the fume head at that time, and uh, we just had an emergency lab meeting. We all went down to the conference room, and they told us um, that in the next day or so, the university was gonna ask all the students to stay off of campus to either remain in their homes, in their dorms, or to make plans to go back home uh, because of the current outbreak of COVID-19. And I remember that moment, the plan was that, you know, students working in the labs would be able to continue. So I'd be able to finish my thesis project and everything would go fine. But very quickly as the situation got worse, it was in a, probably the span of like a week, they asked us to leave, they said, um, if, you're, if your projects are unfinished, then it's okay, we'll figure that out later. But as of now, the priority was public safety, so um, right away it was canceled. So that was the first of, I guess, many losses that I had that year. Um, so then, you know, a few months down the road, probably closer to June, we get the announcements that, because people were expecting the pandemic to last like maybe a few weeks, people were saying, oh, two weeks tops, we're back. I was one of those people who were saying two weeks tops and then we'll be back. Uh, but at the time, they were still planning to have an in-person graduation ceremony for us, but around May, early June, they announced that that was not going to be happening. They said, you know, it's going to happen maybe later in the fall. The fall came and it was still wasn't safe to do so, so they just cancelled our graduation ceremony. Um, I was like, trying to start school again, um, go to graduate school in the fall, but because of that, COVID-19 situation also, I wasn't able to do that. So just those maybe four or five months, that span, where a lot of the things I was looking forward to were just cancelled um, by this pandemic. And it was a sad time because there wasn't much for me to do either. Like I had no job, school was done, or at least for the last part of school was done. For the first part, I was still trying to, you know, finish the last papers, finish, get ready to write exams, or write the last few exams anyways figure out what was going on with even my courses and even my thesis project at that point, just trying to navigate. So I think the first month or so I was a little bit preoccupied with that, but afterwards when I had a chance to really sit down and reflect and think about, you know, all the opportunities and things that I was looking forward to that I had lost, that's kind of when it really hit me that like, man, like this was, this was supposed to be a really important year in my life, one that was really memorable, one that you know, I would tell people about down the road and it was just kind of ripped from me in that sense. Yeah, you know, so that was a that was a tough time that I went through and now I like again we're still in this kind of pandemic situation. It's getting better, but I'm looking forward to maybe kind of making up for the losses in this year. For me, a lot of it was just kind of throwing myself into service, making sure that I was doing something for somebody else so that, you know, at the forefront of my mind, I wasn't like, oh, woe is me all the time. Because if you get into that little, um, like that state where all you can think about is yourself and things that you've lost, that's a really dark place to go down. And it's a really slippery slope and you can really stay in those dungeons of despair for a really long time. But, you know, I started with Sabbath school and then I planted an online VBS that was really exciting. We had over 100 kids participate that year. Um, and then we just kept going and I found other ways to get involved. I found other things to do, other places to help where I could be of service to other people. And that's what really, I think, strengthened my faith because as bad as I thought I had it, um, I was still able to kind of put, in put it into perspective that, you know, um, I still had a roof over my head. I was not sick, like I was healthy, my family was healthy, um, a lot of our extended family were lucky, were healthy at the time. Um, my little brother, I guess he was still in school, but he was adjusting well to learning online. My older brother was also still in school, but he was also 
reading, uh, like learning online, it was pretty successful of that transition. And I had found things that I could, that I could do and that I could pour my time into that would help other people. You know, and so I think in the grand scheme of things, like you gotta kind of remember that as humans, we don't exist inside a vacuum, right? So no matter how bad that you feel you have it, there's always comfort in helping somebody else, right? And not to take that for granted or to say that like, no matter what, like if you're like in the hospital, you should find a way to help someone, you know? But it's just saying that it's a very good, a very good way to uplift yourself is by uplifting other people, you know? Because I, I think, I'm not sure, but I think it's because you create an atmosphere of happiness in someone else's life and that is contagious it spreads and you even you feel that happiness afterwards so yeah um service was a huge part of what helped me to get through that